Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. Now I don't usually do these on a Friday, but what I wanted to do instead didn't quite work out so I opted to do another showcase. What we're going to be looking at today is the Martyrs Folding Mining Vessel, which is this thing right here. So we've got some guns on it, we're primarily using hydrogen thrusters, and then we have these little arms that go all the way around to the back that can fold down and forwards and they'll just go and mine for you. It's a handy little vehicle to be playing around with. Now one thing to bear in mind which is kind of an oddity with this ship is despite having hydrogen thrusters it cannot go in an atmosphere because of the rotors. The rotors make it so it cannot stay afloat in the air which is very odd so while it is like this it won't be able to fly in the atmosphere although it can do it'll just slowly sink to the ground but in space is perfectly fine if you want to just fly the ship as it is you'll have to remove all the rotors off it and that will resolve the problem but anyway let's press f10 and find the martyrs there it is the folding mining vessel this ship weighs in at a tiddly 212 small blocks and it does require the decorative block DLC pack. So what we get with this ship is basically just a small little miner for you to send out from your large capital ship just to pick up a little bit of resource. It's nothing too crazy with its gathering power, it's more or less that you need to top yourself off or perhaps you're just starting off going through space and you need something to skim around the asteroids and pick up all the goodies to build your massive ships. So at the very front here we have got our DLC cockpit which is the main reason of why we need the DLC pack. If you don't have it you will not have this cockpit but you can simply replace it by the rover cockpit of the workshop or you can just slap on a regular cockpit it doesn't really matter. But yes that is at the very front and it has a two gatling guns on this side so if I just come over to here we can then fire it like that. So we've got a little bit of protection or perhaps you're trying to mine through a crashed ship and you need to get rid of some of the broken blocks. And you need to get rid of some of the broken blocks. Coming around the side we can see some small hydrogen thrusters going every which way. All your directions are covered by this. We only have one large hydrogen thruster on this ship and that is at the very back. So everything else is covered by these small ones. We've got our cargo container which is sitting right there and below it is a connector for you to dump off all your resources to your base or your ship if you wanted to do that and above it we can see we've got a bunch of little reactors to power up this ship. Moving across we can see some more thrusters on the connectors and then we come across to the main arm of the drill. So we've got two drills on this and they each have a spotlight on there so it's not going to go too far because you will risk damaging those spotlights. At the end of the day it doesn't matter if they break because they are dirt cheap to rebuild. Towards the back we have our large hydrogen thruster to push us along and above that we've got some fancy red block work using the clean skin and we've got our carbon fiber skin going all the way along in a nice black color. If I come up and above we can see we've got some more thrusters there and then coming down below we've got even more thrusters. This ship is a very small and sweet ship I like to call it. It has your little H2O2 generator just tacked on to the back of the large hydrogen thruster so you've got a good amount of power to fly around space. And that is basically it for the outside. There's not too much to talk about it's just a nice little ship that I saw in the workshop that I thought someone else might like to see and perhaps even download and play with. Taking control of my character we have some options on the hot bar. So we got number two is our Gatling guns where we shoot it straight forwards and number one is the drills at the very back. If I turn off my dampeners which is something you have to do to ensure that the rotors actually lock into place and then press number nine the drills will then fold up and above. I think I said down and below at the start but never mind. There we go and then they lock into place and then we stop moving and we put our dampeners back on and we're good to drill. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go find this large asteroid. There we are, almost lost this despite being right up against it. We're going to fly straight up to it, do a little drill and then I'll do a thruster test because this thing's got a lot of thrust to it. So we've got to be quite careful not to crash into it. But I've selected up the drills. Then we can start coming across to this and start mining it away. So there it is from the front. It looks it's very odd is it? It's like we're up against the rock in the cockpit but we've got quite a bit of distance between us and the ends of those drills. 
and one of those thrusters is turned off. But let's just ignore that. So we're going to keep going. It's actually doing really well, isn't it? There we are. I'm going to back off and check the inventory. So in the inventory, let's hide the empties. All the stone is only going into the drills. So you would have to come out and take them out of the drills and put them into the large cargo container. So if I was to say come round to here, take out the stone and then just go and plop it into the large cargo container. Well, not large, medium cargo container. There we go. We can store a little bit. Like I said, we're not going to be doing massive amounts, so there's no point in having it connected directly up to the cargo container. Although it would be nice, it does kind of make it a bit more harder to connect everything up with the folding mechanic. Although like this is fine, the drills can hold a nice amount of resources, so it is only really for going out and gathering, say, uranium, some gold or whatever, and not really going for stone. If you go for stone, they would go for a much larger drill that's all fully connected up to a cargo container just to dump it all in. But this is a... Nice little sweet ship. In fact, I believe there is some gold over there. And here we go, we're now mining away the gold. Oh, I might want to go a bit lower to make sure I don't grab any stone. There we go. I'm just going to keep going until our weight stops. Luckily with gold, you can actually collect quite a lot. Just going to keep going. And... Yeah, just going to keep going, filling it up. 19 hours. Well, for power, thanks to all those little reactors on there. And now I'm going to back off and see what we got. So into the cargo containers. So we got about 12k gold. We'd be able to get about 20k gold in total. Which is pretty good, actually. 20k gold, thinking about it. I really need that in my own survival game. But that is what this is for. And for a quick thruster test, let me just go and fold these arms back. So the arms have been folded back. And now it's time to do a little thruster test. Bearing in mind that I do have some gold on me, let's go forward. Now this thing scoots across at quite some speed. It's a very fast mining ship. Stopping not as fast, but it's still faster than some of the larger ships that I've been doing recently. And then we go left, which is exceptionally fast. And then going right again exceptionally fast, although bearing in mind that one of those hydrogen thrusters is a little balked at the moment, because I believe I did smash into it. Yes, yeah, so let's just ignore that for the moment. Going backwards is slower than everything so far. Going down, oh bloody hell. And going up, yeah. Just going backwards is the only problem, which is kind of the only complaint I really have of this small ship, because going backwards is the one you want to be the fastest, because that means you can stop in a decent time if you're going to, say, try and avoid crashing into something. But that is it for this little mini miner. I thought it was quite sweet to do a showcase on. And I'll just go through, I suppose I'll go through some of the stuff on the ship, because there's not too much to talk about. So we've got our hydrogen thrusters, we've got our piston arms, we've got our rotors, we've got an antenna on here. We've got a connector, our drills, our galling guns, three gyroscopes, and a lot of hydrogen thrusters. Our industrial cockpits, our O2 H2 generator, some more pistons, some more rotors, four reactors, two spotlights, and two timer blocks. And speaking of gyroscopes, I did forget to wiggle my mouse around. It's got a lot of weight to it, but it's decent for a small ship. It's not that responsive. It does leave a fair amount to be desired from this tiny little ship, but it's serviceable. And it's not like any of my ships are any better than this. My my ships are quite terrible, although I will make a video on that at some point soon once I've finished sorting through all the half-finished ones and the ones that can actually be showcased. So it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with this little drilling ship yourself. I highly recommend you do because you could use this as an idea to build off of and make your own folding drill arms. So thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another showcase video somewhat soon. Bye bye.